Hey guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to take screenshots as well as record clips on your new Xbox Series X or S. So, I'm gonna be showing a picture of the new controller uh, on the screen right now, and you're gonna see a new button there in the middle, and this is gonna be the share button. So, and to take a screenshot, you just tap that button. So I'm gonna go back over to the game now. We are in Watch Dogs Legion here on the Xbox Series X, and I'm just gonna tap that button there. Uh, and when I do, you can see there, it comes up a notification that says screenshot saved. And then we'll talk about the sharing options here shortly. But if I want to take a video clip, all I would need to do is just instead of tapping on that share button, I would just hold down on that button. And you can see it's preparing my clip and then it will record the past 30 seconds. And as you can see, that game clip has now been recorded. So again, you just tap that button once for a screenshot and then you just tap and hold a few seconds for a recorded clip or video. Now, in order to see what you can do as far as sharing those clips, you can hit the Xbox button in the middle of the controller there like normal, and then we can see the different things over there on the right. So we'll just tab on over using our right bumper button on the controller, and then you can see under capture and share, you can see all the different things here. We have two recent captures, or under capture and share, we can actually record what happened directly from here. So if we go to record what happened, it gives us even more flexibility, and we can record even up to the last two minutes of a video game. Or if you wanted to, you could even start recording if you know something cool's about to happen or you're doing a time trial or whatever it may be, you can just go ahead and select start recording right here and then it will go ahead and start that recording. You do what you're doing, whether it be a tutorial or showing people how to do something in a game and then you'll hit the Xbox button once more, tab on over to the capture and share and then as you can see here, it has all the way up to that two minute max that you can record and then you just select stop recording and that will obviously record the game clip and you can basically hold the Xbox controller here and see if we're holding that Xbox button, we can actually see the different features and options as far as how can we share this clip? Can we put it on our activity feed? Can we message it to one of our friends on Xbox? Can we put it on Twitter? Or we can even see all sharing options right here. We can even upload that to our OneDrive if that's something that we want to do. Uh, another cool feature as always, is we can go in here and we can actually show all of our captures. And then once we're here, we can actually go here, select the specific clip, and we can go here and we can look at that clip, we can trash that clip, we can edit it, all directly from the Xbox console itself. Now, the last thing that I'm going to show you as far as capturing video clips and taking screenshots is if we go ahead and go back over to that sharing uh, tab over here on our controller, we can see that we have something that says capture settings. Now, under capture settings, depending on the type of monitor or display you're using, as you can see, I'm using a 1080p SDR one minute max. If you reduce that to 720p, your max goes up, but the quality of the clip goes down. So depending on where you're wanting to share that clip, maybe you can reduce it to 720p and it doesn't really matter. Also, we can go here and change the default recording time from 30 seconds all the way up to a minute or reduce it to 15 seconds. So uh, when you hold that button by default, it records the past 30 seconds, but we can change this to go ahead and record the past one minute if that's something that you want to do. Uh, and then basically all of your capture settings are here. I wouldn't change anything else. And then when you're in a game like I am here, we can just tap or hold that share button and begin the clip process or the screenshot process directly from the game. If you have any questions about how to do any of this, please put that in the comment section down below. I will create a pinned comment with the frequently asked questions. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.